Hi guys, it's Ash here. So I've been currently getting a lot of um, messages from people asking about recommendations about books on Scottish folk magic or folklore. And I always tell them that there isn't really specific book on Scottish folk magic. Um, however, I am in the mix of sort of writing a few books myself on the subject. However, you kind of have to do your digging, I'm afraid. Um, and certain books are folkloric material. So I thought I'd just do this book and sort of recommend the books that are favourite of mine and sort of books that I'll start with or to advance. So here we go. So the first two books I would recommend is these two. So Scottish Witches. Uh, this is Scottish Witches by uh, um, Charles W. Cameron. And this is um, like this book, which is Scottish Witches and Wizards by Lily Seafield. These two books are brilliant if you want to know about content about famous Scottish witches, cunning folk, charmers, that such. Um, because these are just sort of packed um, with that sort of content. Um, like they say, um, don't judge a book by its cover because the graphics are not that great. Um, this one's a bit outdated as well. So this, I think this is from the, excuse me. Um, yeah, so this was published in the eighties. So there's a lot of things you might see that, um, is a bit iffy, but both the books are brilliant in regards to read them out famous witches and cunning folk of Scotland. Next is one of my favourite, and this is by Michael Howard. I always love Michael Howard's books. This is the hardback version of Scottish Witches and Warlocks. And he goes into famous witches, the, the Scottish witch hunts, uh, spells and charms, um, and certain sort of legends regarding witchcraft and, and magic in Scotland. So this is brilliant, I recommend it. And that's by Freehands Press. It's one of my favorites. Next, I would go on to another one of my favorites. It's the Silver Bell series, uh, volumes. This is uh, volume one, which is really, I would, I would recommend the most. The rest of the volumes are all about local customs and uh, festivals that we have in Scotland um, from old times to present day. So this one I would really go for. This goes about the subject of uh, witches, magic, talks about the druids in Scotland, um, talks about certain charms um, uh, involved in, in, involved in um, the Scottish, Scottish magical traditions. So that's brilliant, Scottish bell. Um, next, I would recommend Witchcraft and the Second Sight um, of the Highlands and Islands of Scotland by um, John Gergeson McCampbell. And this was written in, during the late 1800s, um, a little bit inspired by um, a lot of the material he's using is a little bit from the Carmilla Cadelica, which we'll go on about in a bit. Um, but yeah, he talks about folklore, like witches and eggs, witches and hares, um, the, power, like, the power of second sight, um, and goes in some juicy charms, really. So it's one of my favourites. Um, and like I just mentioned, which, if you want to research about the actual spell, spells, charms, magical traditions within Scotland, particularly within the Gaelic-speaking areas of the Hebrides and the Western Isles, like, and the, the Highlands, um, the Carmilla Cadalica, which is in four series, four, four volumes, by Car uh, Michael Carmichael, is the go-to, really. You can see volumes one and two online by sacredtext.com. So you can re read it for free. Um, it's brilliant. Check that out. On regards to general folk, um, Scottish folk customs and traditions, I would recommend Scottish Customs from Cradle to Grave by Margaret Bennett. I was fortunate to, enough to have it signed by this lovely lady when I met her years ago. Um, and this is brilliant. So this is unique. So this goes into accounts of um, different people talking about like hand fasting, talking about um, birth, birthing charms, 
um, you know, child blessings, uh, rights involving death and, 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 and such not. And this is brilliant because a lot of the material, it is written because these are interview accounts that she's doing. Um, so it's written in interview format. So you'll see like stuff like um, how she's interviewing them um, and then the person being interviewed. So, um, yeah, so like, uh, you know, MB, Margaret, ba um, Margaret Bennett, and then like ND for the other person that, that's answering the question. So you can see sort of the format. So it's, it's, it's laid out all throughout the book and you've got um, in a kind of interview format. And you've got some neat pictures of like some of the contributors of the, the law um, and folklore of people and how these live. Um, oh, and uh, it, it really is a brilliant book. It is, it is you know, ethnology and an oral law submitted um, into writing. So it's brilliant. I recommend that book highly if you're you're not just into folk magic but you're into like folk customs and practices of scotland so yeah they are the books i would recommend you read um so i hope this um video has been informative for you all and i hope you have a brilliant day blessings to you all